in this video i will explain the working of four bit binary ripple counter using positive edge triggered t flip flop so as we know the ripple counter is nothing but a asynchronous counter it is also known as asynchronous counter in which the clock signal is not given to all the flip flops simultaneously rather the clock signal is given to only the first flip flop the output of each flip flop acts as a clock input for next flip flops first i will write the truth table for four bit binary ripple counter so when at the beginning we will assume that all the flip flops are in reset state at the positive edges of the clock that is at the first positive edge of the clock it will become 0001 at next clock signal it will become 0010 at next clock signal it will be 0011 at next clock signal it will be 0100 next it will be 0101 that is nothing but 5 next we have 6 that is 0110 next we have 7 0111 next we have 1 0 0 0 in next clock pulse we have 1 0 0 next we have 1 0 1 next we have 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 
So now this is the QA output. Here we can observe that this is positive edges. This is positive edge. This is positive edge. This is positive edge. This is positive edge. These all are the positive edges of the QA output. In the truth table, we can observe that the QB output is such that for the first two clock pulse, it is same. That is 0, 0. Next, for next clock pulse, it will be 1, 1. For next two clock pulse, it will be 0, 0. It will be 1, 1, 0, 0. So at every second clock pulse, the state will change. So let now let me draw the QB output according to this. So here I can say at the beginning QB is 0, this is 0. So here we can see that this will be 1, this will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and it is 0. So now it will be 0 and again here it will be 0 because here we can see that it is 0, 0 then it will be 1, 1. So at the second clock pulse this is second clock pulse, it will go high and it will be high for next two clock pulses. So this is one and here it will, it will be one. Here it will go low. Again it will be low for next two clock pulses. It will go high. It will be high for next two clock pulses. It will go low. It will be zero for two clock pulses. It will be high for next two clock pulses. It is zero. And here it will be one, one and here it will go 0. So here we can observe that it is 0, 0. This is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Here it will be 1, 1. Here it will be 0, 0. This will be 1, 1 and here it is 0. We know that in a synchronous counter, the output of first flip-flop acts as clock input for the next flip-flop. So this is the clock input. So now we have to think whether QA is to be connected to clock input or QA bar is to be connected to clock input. So from this waveform we can observe that here the QA output will become 0 at this point. That is here it is moving from 1 to 0 at this point. So QA will become 0. But here we are, we are taking positive edge triggered flip flop. The positive edge of the clock we have to give. So when QA is 0, when QA is 0, this will be high. So we must give QA bar to the clock signal. Here QA bar signal should be given to the clock signal. So that this signal will appear at the output of second flip-flop. That is QB at the output of second flip-flop. This waveform will appear. Now let us concentrate on QC. So here we can see that QC output first QC is 0 for first 4 clock pulses and it is high for next 4 clock pulses. So this pattern will repeat low for next 4 clock pulses and high for next 4 clock pulses. We will follow the same thing and we will draw the waveform. So this is QC. So QC is 0 for 4 clock pulse. So this is 0 at the beginning it will be 0. This is 0 this is 0 and this is 0. So at this point it will go high. It will be high for, for next 4 clock pulses. Till here it will be high. This is 1, 1, 1, 1. Here it will go low again. 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be low. That is 0, 0, 0, 0. And it will go high for next 4 clock pulses. And at this point it will become 0. This will be 1, 1, 1 and 1. So here we can observe that the QC output will change the state from 0 to 1 when QB is changes 1 to 0. So we must connect QB bar because QB bar acts as positive edge for the next clock, next flip flop. So we must connect QB bar output to the clock signal. So this is QA output. This is QB output. So now QC out output will be appearing here. Now let me check QD. So here we can observe that for first 8 clock pulses it is 0. 
for next eight clock pulses it will be one so in waveform we should show it as for the first eight clock pulse that is this is zero so till here it will be zero that is zero 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 then it will be high for next eight clock pulse that is one two three four five six seven eight after that it will go low so this is one 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 here it will be zero here it will be zero so here we can observe that at this clock pulse the qd is changing from zero to one but here qc is changing from one to zero so we must connect qc bar that is qc bar should be given to the clock pulse because qc bar value is one that acts as a positive edge for the clock so here qc bar should be connected to the clock input this is connected to the clock input and here we will get qd output so this is four bit asynchronous counter so here we can observe that at the beginning it is 0 0 0 0 next it will be 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 that is 4 this will be 5 this will be 6 this will be 7 1 0 0 0 yeah, that is 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 again it will become 0 0 0 0 this is how the counter will works thank you for watching